Origin version 8.1 allows users to easily perform batch processing of multiple files or data sets using an analysis template. In part 1 of the batch processing tutorial, I will show you how to create an analysis template. The first step is to import some data. I'll import a CSV data file. After selecting the file, I make sure the Show Options dialog checkbox is checked, so that when I click OK, the Options dialog opens. I'll now use this dialog to specify custom settings suitable for importing my selected data file. I'll expand the Import Options branch, and then the Renaming Worksheet and Workbook. We'll rename the sheet with the partial file name, but not the book, so I'll uncheck that checkbox. I can then collapse this branch, expand header lines. I happen to know that I have two subheader lines in this data file, of which I can use the first one as my long name and the second header line as my units. Now after going through the dialog and making all these changes, I want to then save these to the sheet itself as part of the analysis template itself. So I go to the top and I click the arrow here next to dialog theme and then I choose save to sheet. My custom settings will be then saved as part of the analysis template and will be used for importing similar files when the template is used later by the batch processing tool. I then click OK to import my data file. The second step in creating an analysis template is to add desired analysis operations based on the imported data. In this example, we will perform curve fitting. So I'll highlight column B, the Y column, so that it will be recognized as input when I select Analysis Fitting Nonlinear Curve Fit. The first step in this dialog is to choose a function data selection is picked up from my highlighted column in the worksheet so then I can just click the fit button to complete the fitting process I'm going to rename the first sheet in this book, so I right click and say rename. It's cut off on the recording or you can just do a double click. And then I'm going to give it a name of raw data. Now the third step is to add a result sheet where you can place desired information from the import and the analysis. This sheet will then be used by the batch processing tool to create a summary report from multiple files or data sets. So to add a new sheet, I right click and say add. I'm going to call this one My Peaks. I'm then going to right click on the first cell and select insert variables. The information I see listed here is information from the data file that was imported, such as file name. So I'm going to insert the file name, make sure that it's inserted as a link, meaning it'll get updated when new data is imported. So I can click Insert. I'm then going to go to Origins Report Sheet, copy the XC parameter value, go back to my custom report sheet, right-click and do a paste link. I'm going to add three new columns to this worksheet. I'm then going to go back to Origins Report Sheet and copy the A and W parameters. Paste link. From the statistics table, we'll copy the adjusted R-square value. The final step is now to save this workbook as an analysis template. 
And to do that, I click on the File menu, Save Workbook as Analysis Template, and then give it some name. Upon saving, the raw data and related results will be cleared and the book will be saved to disk as an OGW file with the specified name. We're now ready to use this analysis template for batch processing. Please continue with part two of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.